When people hear the word commodities, they understand them to be an important part of everyday life. I might think, for example, of electricity, grains or metals. But the mention of investing in commodities might seem like a completely foreign concept. Commodities fall into two main categories, hard and soft commodities. Hard commodities are non-perishables, such as energy and precious metals, with soft commodities being perishables, such as agricultural produce or livestock. Over the past decade, the major influence on commodity prices has been the increasing demand from the emerging world, from countries like China and India, who have both undergone rapid industrialization. Between 2001 and 2008, commodity prices experienced a boom due to countries, including China and India, increasing their demand for metals and oil for use in building. Also, the emergence of a new wealthier middle class in these countries has seen consumption of food and consumer goods rapidly increase. Commodity markets themselves can be very vo volatile as a result of price sensitivity to factors that affect supply and demand. On the supply side, things like geopolitical events, political unrest in the Middle East, currency fluctuations or severe weather can all potentially be disruptive uh, on supply and in turn on the price of commodities. Now in practice people don't usually invest directly into commodities because where would you put a thousand fro frozen pork bellies or 20 tonnes of cocoa? Instead they invest in products that provide exposure to those commodities that they believe are going to see increases in prices. Mutual fund products such as unit trusts and open-ended investment companies can provide a way for investors to gain commodity exposure. These funds invest in commodities or commodity-related companies listed on the stock exchange. For example, this could be in a company that makes industrial machinery using large quantities of metal. Investing in a commodity-focused mutual fund can provide more diversified exposure to the broader commodities market. Exchange-traded funds, known as ETFs, can also provide exposure to the commodities market. They invest in commodities-related futures contracts or companies they believe will offer the best returns. They also track the price of particular commodity markets through indices and units. An ETF can be bought and sold in the same way as any other share listed on the stock market. In summary, commodities were once considered somewhat of a specialist area of investment, given the time, the money and the expertise required to analyse those markets. However, today, different routes to access commodity markets have opened up investment opportunities to a wider investor audience.